What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you a brand new video. We have in front of you Fortune Steel versus Dutch Force, the final 111 to 115. This is week one in CWL Premier. Guys, watch out for Dutch Force. They are going to be a wrecking ball in Premier here in season four. They put on quite a show and we knew they were going to be tough. We knew they were going to be tough. Um, but I mean, they pretty much dominated us in almost every single category. We both had a dip fail, believe it or not. I don't want this video to get too long. We will go ahead and jump down here. Uh, and get some Town Hall 9 action in before we get into the heavy hitter action. And I did have a uh, 10v10 six pack of uh, this war, so we'll be checking out both of those attacks. Uh, but I mean, as far as how the war happened, I mean, we started off pretty good uh, Town Hall 9, then we kind of slumped, and then we came back, had like five or six triples in a row. We were able to get a few scouts in, um, hitting at, I believe it was, what was it? Where's my notes here? We were hitting uh, just above uh, 60% uh, for our, our Town Hall 9 hit rate. We had five 10v10 triples, and but where we really fell flat and where we let this war kind of get away from us is in the 10v11 game, only, only clearing three out of their five uh, Town Hall 11s with our Town Hall 10s definitely hurt. It's something we have to work on and improve on if we want to be competitive in this league. Premier has some of the best clans uh, in the game here in, in Premier. So it's, it's gonna be an, an incredible season. Uh, congratulations to Dutch Force walking with the victory. Uh, for their stats, they went five for eight, 10 v 11. We definitely can uh, learn from them uh, and, and you know start practicing and buckling down uh, on these hit ups. But yeah, they went five for eight and they had eight 10 v 10 three stars, so they had three more than we did, and that's kind of where we got the total, where they got uh, they beat us by a total of four stars. But congratulations to them, uh, starting off one and zero. We were handed our first uh, loss of the season in week one. Uh, next up, who do we have? Next up, we have uh, Valar Mugulis. That's going to be a really really fun war. I know, I know they were neck and neck with KK for almost the entire war. Um, yeah, we're not taking any of these clans lightly in Premier, you guys. You cannot do it because uh, any of these clans can win on any, uh, pretty much in any war. Um, and look at that, we got you with the swag rage. Uh, and look, he actually tried to drop the swag, he actually dropped it late. So it was a swag rage fail. All right, but yeah, huge shout out to you. He did get a 9v9 six pack. Want to show you guys uh, that attack right there. And we were down, it was this one. We'll go ahead and show you guys um, a few of the 10v10s. And like I said, I will be showing you guys my 10v10 six pack. I was only going to show one, but I was thinking about it. I was like, it has been, I mean, this is few and far between where I even get anything remotely close to a 10v10 six pack. So I'll be showing you guys both of those. Uh, and we'll be showing you one of the hit ups. Oh, and we did not have, neither side had an 11 v 11 three star. Uh, let, let me know, I'm gonna have to check out, uh, I'm gonna have to check out the notes. I'm not sure uh, how many 11 v 11 three stars there were in Premiere, but I am curious to find that out. Um, but yeah. But yeah, there was not an 11 11 three star. I figured there would have been at least one, if not two, uh, combined. Uh, but I mean, with, with the first war, you know, we're, we're still trying to get back in the swing of things. Um, and still put up, I mean, still put up five 10 v 10s. Uh, you know, I mean, which is it's still going to be pretty good uh, in Premiere, if I'm not mistaken. Like I said, it's still the first week. Uh, you know, we're still trying to get, you know, back into the swing, if you will. I know we did the placement matches. Um, but anyway, so we got Zongo doing it with a shattered, uh, shattered hog attack, a shattered hobo, uh, kill squad coming in, as you guys see where the jump is, uh, hogs down here at six o'clock, uh, bringing in some reinforcements over here to kind of meet up with this pack. Did have three heal spells, so just the classic, uh, jump rage for the kill squad and three heals for the hogs. You can go ahead and drop down the last and final heal right in this big, uh, uh, 
Inferno Tower compartment with the Archer Tower, the Expo, as the Hogs are making their way through. Poison Spell down to take care of those ground skulls. We'll go ahead and times through this. Just a matter of time. And as you guys see, he did start his cleanup nice and early. Uh, but yeah, huge shout out uh, to Zongo picking up that 10v10 3 star. And next up, we'll be checking out both of my attacks. And we have, wait till you guys see this attack from Fuzz. He has one of the most badass 10v10s I've seen in a really, really long time. Uh, this one, this was the attack right here. Um, this one was cleanup, but th this attack was so much fun. This is going to be a CB, um, this is going to be a CB Vaho. We'll go ahead and check out how we do this. Gollum down. This was a scouted, this was a scout base. Beautiful, beautiful scout. Shout out uh, to Buckwheat. But check out the loons, you guys. Check out the loons. Grabbing the cannon, grabbing the mortar. Uh, pretty much funneling that entire bottom side right there. Nothing uh, for the troops to do but to go inside, or no for the troops to go but inside the base. Uh, wall breakers down. There goes our jump spell. We do have a rage for this kill squad. And Queen. If you guys look at the Inferno Tower right here, that is actually reachable from over the wall from the Queen. But there goes our Rage Spell. We're going to get, look at this value we get uh, from these Valks uh, and the King. So inside the core, Wizard Tower down. We got the Expo down. Uh, and King, uh, with his Iron Fist ability, going to get the other Wizard Tower on the backside. And we're even going to take care of... Um, uh, oh no, just came shy of the sweeper. But Hog's coming in up here at the top. Queen took care of the Inferno Tower with her ability uh, from over the wall. A couple of Hogs hit a spring. Not going to be a big deal. Uh, there were no giant bombs inside that Inferno Tower compartment, so we were able to save that heal uh, for this backside over here at 9 o'clock. Uh, dropping out an, another heal spell. And the last and final heal, as you guys see, we're coming up. Defenses are starting to thin out a little bit. Uh, and there goes the final heal spell. Uh, and there goes the, the uh, poison spell to go ahead and take care of the pesky ground skellies. And now it's just a matter of time. And check this out. Queen helping out with the cleanup. Getting it done. And this is actually in order. That was the first base uh, that I hit. And I'll go ahead and show you guys the very next one as it was number 19 uh what made this one i like i absolutely love the funnel on on that base right there this one um on number 19 was double sweet because i actually know this guy cohen warpro he was a town hall nine when i was a town hall nine back in our midwinter days uh rest in peace midwinters and but the other thing that made this attack special is the fact that this was a fresh hit. This was a fresh 10v10. Um, and this one we're doing shatter. So the first one we did is uh, uh, CB Vaho. This is going to be a shattered hobo entering in over here at 9 o'clock. And look at this wizard with the... Uh, or look at this funnel we create just with the wizards and the baby dragon. going to be taking out uh, that wizard tower. And you can clearly see the path for the bowlers nowhere for them to go but inside the base and we do have a jump spell no wall breakers jump spells leading us right into the core uh, with that nicely placed jump spell rage spell down we got king raised up and uh this was a hound loon since we i mean if we knew there was a hound in the cc probably would have sent queen somewhere else uh to pick up some defenses and just suey her but look at the value guys that this queen is going to get hogs are gonna be coming in up here uh at the top up here uh up at 12th and here we go once the pups are taken care of look at this queen because there were if you guys didn't notice in uh that rage spell four of the funneling wizards made it inside the base so even though there was a hound that came out of the cc between the queen under rage and the wizards under rage they damn near one shot at that hound uh and she was able to take out the bomb tower on the far back end of this base and even picked up an extra Tesla. We have hogs coming in, CC hogs down. Uh, there goes our second heal spell. We are bringing three heals for them. Uh, and you can kind of see, especially once that bomb tower was taken care of right there. Uh, I mean, this, I was like, okay, I cannot screw this up. Please don't be a double set. Please don't be a double set. Poison spell down, take care of the ground skellies. And I didn't know if there was going to be a bomb on the back side, so we kind of drop that heal spell a few tile or a couple tiles off from that uh cannon down at six because i didn't know if there's going to be any giant bombs on the bottom side of the inferno tower compartment but that's going to be the second um attack that i did this war huge shout to cohen war pro uh congratulations on the victory you guys freaking rocked it but yeah that was my 10v10 six pack 
still pumped about it. Like I said, they are few and far between. And so I wanted to get those attacks out to you guys. And I want to show you guys, um, which one was it? I want to show you guys this attack right here. This is going to be coming at you from Fuzz. Wait until you guys see uh, this attack. Um, this is incredible. So we have, we have, what does he have? He has seven bowlers. We have a pair of baby dragons, as you guys see it, like so. And we have uh, a golem and a giant coming out of the CC. And you can see kind of the, all four air defenses in a, in a row right there. So he's going to go ahead and drop down a jump spell. He has both heroes down. This is a damage CC, but goes ahead and drops down a poison. Uh, baby drag witch, I think there's a, a Valk or two in there. Uh, and he drops a couple loons down on the mortar up there at the top. Just want to set a really nice funnel for his bowlers and his heroes, hoping to take out the wizard towers and hoping to take out both of those expos with his uh, with his hero abilities. So one expo is already down. Bowler ends up taking out uh, bowler ends up taking out the other one. So here we go. Uh, Queen still has her ability. What else can she get? So right here, step doesn't even see the CC. Doesn't even see the clan castle. Takes out the sweeper and ends up taking out the inferno tower. <coughs> and here comes four huge wads of loons dropping down four haste and bringing some reinforcement loons on the edges uh, where he does have another haste spell. It was incredible how that queen picked off the sweeper and uh, that inferno tower really helping out uh, with the pathing on this one. And look at all haste spells on the back end. Uh, absolutely love this attack and something a little different. You know, we do see, uh, you know, a lot of your traditional Lalo attacks. Obviously, different variation of Hog attacks, bitch. Uh, but these are some of my favorite attacks. Switching it up, doing it completely differently, uh, especially since it was uh, a unique style base as well. Uh, be a huge shout out uh, to Fuzz. And we'll go ahead and check out one of our 10v11s. And the other 10v10 was by Cody. Uh, so huge shout out to him. Um, so we'll go ahead and which one was it? Let me see. Was it this one? Yes. This attack right here, 60%. And yes, this was also going to be coming from Cody. And wait till we see how he breaks this base down. This was a clear, this is the base that gave us the fits the most. Uh, the fresh attack from Kala he actually got 49% one star, and there was about a, a, enough HP on the town hall where a villager could have walked up and pushed over the town hall. I shit you not. And then we were kept trying to replicate the attack, replicate the attack, and just could not get it right. So we had Cody coming in with just a few hours left because uh, we were still trying to hit the 11s a couple of hours into war. Uh, but with Cody, um, with just a few hours left in the war, still trying to give us a fighting chance to somehow pull out a victory, um, end up getting this base down and did it with style, getting 60%. Um, yeah, great, great war um, by him on his on his town hall tents. Uh, but yeah, so we're charging down here at six o'clock, taking out the eagle artillery. So right away off the bat, uh, that's already one less thing we have to worry about with that eagle artillery taken care of, especially if you're going to be using things to get um, clean up, you know, at the end. Uh, so very, very nicely done. Queen on queen action had to pop ability right there, uh, but ends up picking up the wizard tower and uh, that archer tower right there. And here comes the bowlers uh, or the bowler smash portion. This is the push that he wants to get to the town hall. And we have some giants over here on the mortar uh, with just a few wall breakers. King down some more bowlers. And you can already see queen is down, but you can clearly see the funnel. Um, oh, the queen funnel that entire bottom side right there. We have jump spell down. He has one more spell to use, uh, being a rage, hoping, praying that those bowlers uh, can get to that town hall. As you guys see the percent, we're at 48% already, already looking juicy. One star is already picked up, 53%. And the bowlers uh, in, in, in that jump spell, in that compartment, uh, clearly can reach the town hall from over the wall, just like so. And those bowlers did work, especially with that one raid spell. Uh, beautiful, beautiful attack. A uh, nice war from him, ending with 60%. And speaking of ending, that is going to do it for this video. I want to congratulate Dutch Force for walking away with the four star victory. Watch out, guys. Whoever's war in Dutch Force, watch out for these guys. You guys better do your homework. 
uh, and bring your A game because this is a solid, solid clan. Huge shout out to them. Best of luck. I don't even need to wish you guys good luck, um, but I'll do it anyway. Best of luck uh, in your wars for the rest of the season. Forge from Steel, we have a lot of work to do, but we're still going to have a very, very promising season. I guarantee it. Um, just got to tighten up some things, but we have a good foundation to build off of. And let's keep it moving, guys. Let's get pumped for week two. Shout out to Vlar Magulis if any of you guys are even watching this. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Comments, questions, or concerns down in the comment section below. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.